the moment of victory. Thousands of pro-impeachment supporters, clad in the national colours of green and gold, celebrating after one of the most important yet divisive political battles since the return of democracy to Brazil 30 years ago. For five long hours they'd watched on giant screens as members of Congress voted one after the other in favour of impeaching the president. Invoking God, their families and patriotism, few actually mentioned the charges of hiding the scale of the deficit of which Ms. Rousseff is formally being accused. Many of these congressmen, including the powerful speaker Eduardo Cunha, are accused of far more serious crimes, including money laundering and corruption. Some protesters who'd supported impeaching the president say she is just the start. First, we want Dilma out of the government. And then Cunha, Temer, uh, Renan Calheiros, most of the, a lot of leaders who are involved in corruption. This victory for those in favor of impeachment is a huge personal blow against Dilma herself. It makes even more likely a full impeachment trial in the Senate and her suspension from the presidency. It also could be the beginning of the end of 12 years of leftist Workers' Party rule in Brazil. The mood among those who'd opposed impeachment was flat. Predominantly working class and many from mixed race backgrounds, they fear a change of government, if Miss Rousseff is impeached, would be a step backwards for a country that's made great social progress. Vai ter luta. A luta tá começando agora. Our fight continues. It's just starting now, says this former oil worker who supports the government. If the opposition thinks they can do just what they want, he says, they're wrong. We'll go to the streets. Brazil feels tense and divided. The thousands of troops on hand in Brasilia to keep the camps apart weren't needed. With one side defeated, the other jubilant. But there'll be no quick fix to the country's political and economic woes. Willa Davis, BBC News, Brazilian.